Hey guys, Crewman here. And as you know, and I don't need to share any numbers because they're depressing to see, the market for new RTX 5080s and 5090s is utterly cooked. Burnt to a crisp, prices are just stupid. Unfortunately, your fallback plan, the RTX 40 series, the used market is up over 40% from the launch of the 50 series. So the used market is absolutely cooked, burnt to a crisp. But why is that, guys? Well, I'm going to tell you in this video that I think we are in the biggest GPU bubble I have ever seen, and there are three events coming up that could cause it to collapse. So, where is the demand for all of these GPUs coming from all of a sudden? Now, we know that there is an AI boom for any 90 class GPU with 24 gigs of VRAM and up, and you're going to see supply issues for the 5090, the 4090, and even the 3090 for months to come, maybe even longer. I'm not going to act like I even know what is coming on that end, but expect a shortage of 90 class cards for a long time. But what about the rest of the market? You can't really do anything as far as AI workloads on graphics cards with lower VRAM. There's some things you can do, but, but not anything that will cause an impact on GPU demand for 80 class and lower. As far as crypto mining, <laughs> well, while the 5080 is a fantastic miner, or at least that's what it's looking like. There are way cheaper mining only, as in graphics cards that gamers can't even use, options out there that are readily available that makes it very hard to justify buying an RTX 5080 for crypto mining. You may see some people do it, but you will never see it in any kind of bulk because it just doesn't make sense, especially considering the crypto market is at catastrophically horrible levels right now. But that's for a whole nother channel, and you can go to my mining channel if you're interested in any of that. But we're not talking about that today. So if you're ruling out AI and you're ruling out crypto mining, wh where is all the demand coming from? Well, you could argue that this was basically a paper launch for the 5080 and the 5090, which means that, you know, if only I'm going to pull a number out of thin air, if there were only 500 GPUs available and 4,000 people who wanted them, then there's obviously going to be a shortage, which is going to lead to rising prices. But that doesn't mean that everybody wanted them. That's, you know, you're talking probably less than 1% of the GPU market, right? Well, what the hell happened to the 40 series prices, guys? Like, the thing that blows my mind in trying to figure out demand, right, is you could have had 40 series GPUs for 40 to 50% less of what they were going for right now during the holidays. There were plenty of them, and the holidays is traditionally the height of PC building and PC sales because everybody wants something for the holidays, wants something to get them through winter, and you know they get money during the holidays from bonuses or from relatives or friends or whatever, and that's when they buy PC parts. I had probably 10 friends who I helped build PCs over the holidays because I was like, well, if you don't want to wait for the 50 series, that probably is going to have low stock. And there was even a heightened interest because everybody was worried about tariffs when the next administration came to power, they were going to put tariffs in place. So there was a building frenzy. So I'm trying to figure out where this demand was, guys. Now, I predicted when I saw people selling their 40 series GPUs even a week or two before the launch for 13, 14, 1500 because they were trying to get money to buy the 50 series. I was like, this is a mistake, guys. You're going to lose your face because if you wait two weeks, you're going to sell it for $1,000 more than you are now. There were people that listened and there were people that didn't, which is obviously fine. And there were a lot and there was also a lot of hope, which you can't blame people for. There was a lot of hope that people thought they were going to get 50 series GPUs. <laughs> well, that was quickly dashed and then people started scrambling. So the 40s, 90s obviously went up, which I did see coming. I thought maybe the 4080s would go up, but I didn't see them going up to $1,400, $1,500. So that was kind of a shock to me. I thought I was actually in the process of making a video when I realized the used market was going nuts that maybe the 4080 was a GPU to buy if you couldn't get a 50 series. Well, everybody else thought that way too because those prices went through the moon. And then something that I admit I had no idea that was coming, the price of all of the other 40 series GPUs. They went, everything from the 4070 up went through the moon. 4070s are going for 650 plus on eBay right now. Who in their right mind is going to pay that much for a 4070? Without getting on a tangent, and I'm going to do a video on this sometime later this week, a 3080 is literally the same thing as a 4070, guys, and they are way less on the used market. If you don't believe me, 
just look at the data right here. These are prices of used GPUs as of about a week and a half ago. I got to do an update on this, so stay tuned for another video on that coming next week as well. This is literally the definition of a bubble. Basically what I'm getting at and why I'm telling you this quick story is because that means that everybody who couldn't get a 50 series suddenly panic bought and then everybody else got into FOMO suddenly panic bought. So then you have people just panic buying every used GPU that they can find right now. Okay, so now we know there's a bubble. Everybody's figured it out, right? Well, the question is, when is this bubble going to pop? Well, if you ask me, there are three events under the next 30 days that will cause it to pop. The first one is the rumored 4070 Ti release, which is coming out around February 20th. I haven't confirmed that, so I, I don't know for sure, but it seems like it, it could be accurate. And I did try to reach out to some sources because I, I have a few of those now, and nobody knows 5070 Ti stock. Now, when the 5090s were about to release, everybody knew the stock was utterly cooked. Nobody knows for sure about the 5070 stock. Now, I know, I think uh, videocards.com did an article which I honestly didn't read because I was trying not to let it influence me. They were talking about how there's a potential shortage. But like I said, I reached out to my own sources who are connected and nobody can get kind of a grasp on the supply of the 5070 Ti. Or if they can, they're keeping it mum. So what does that mean? Well... If there is a shortage of the 5070 Ti's, and I will put a guide up on how to buy these on launch day as we get closer, so stay tuned for that, and then I will probably try to buy one at launch as I was unsuccessful in gathering a review sample for it, unfortunately. We're getting close, guys. We just need to grow the channel more. You know, I'll be with you together on trying to get one of these, but if the launch is the same as the 5080 and the 5090 launch, it's going to do nothing but increase the panic and increase the dread, and frankly, it's probably going to drive up prices of older GPUs, which is absolutely wild to me. The 5070, we don't know when that's going to release. It probably is going to release after the 5070 Ti, and it'll be a similar situation. Now, obviously, I think with the 5070, based on the leaks that we've seen from Copatite 7 Kimmy, I'm personally not excited for it. Uh, I think it's going to be a bust. I, I don't know. Like, look... You guys know me, I'm pretty positive when it comes to GPUs. I frankly love the 5080, and I love the 5090, and I will be doing content that says as much, right? I don't agree with a lot of the negative reviews for the 5080 and the 5090, and I didn't agree with a lot of the negative Intel B580 stuff, right? And I am excited for the 5070 Ti, but the 5070... I'm gonna I'm I'm not sure yet the initial leaks kind of have me meh on it but I will be helping you guys try to get these and we will be working through the market together on those so make sure you like and sub to the channel obviously but if there is a shortage of those then it's gonna be a huge problem because it's gonna trickle down even further and you're we're gonna be in for a, a long rough ride that is unless AMD comes to save the day. And so you hope, okay? Now this is a lot of hopium, all right? But there's one thing I can say. I have actually played the RDNA 4 GPUs. I got to play around with them at CES when I was touring AMD's booth. I didn't get a lot of time on them. And like everybody else, I just played Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and I couldn't see much, but they did let me confirm that it was an RDNA 4 GPU and they felt great, all right? And I have seen most of the models. I will put pictures right up here. You hope AMD has had sufficient time to get their supply ready. Okay. I would argue that supply is more important than price. And I will do another video elaborating on this uh, probably when we get closer. But I would argue that price has to be correct, right? But if these things launch at, you know, maybe $700, a price that would probably be higher than what we would like it but they have plenty of supply i think that would be a massive win for amd and i think that would single-handedly fix the you the market i think it would correct everything especially if the 5070 xt has the same raster performance of a 4080 that would actually be incredible you would fix the high end you would fix the medium end and you would fix the low end with a single swoop although i don't think there's as much of a problem on the low end but think about it right if you wanted a 5080 and you can't buy them because there's still a shortage now you know i do think there will be a little bit of a alleviated pressure on the 5080 in you know probably like a month or two but say you wanted one and you couldn't get one right or they were way too expensive you didn't want to pay 1600 for 5080 what if you could get 
an RX 9070 XT that is maybe 10, maybe 15% worse than an unoverclocked. Unoverclocked is the key word there. 5080, right? But you're saving seven to eight hundred dollars on the price. I would take that. I think most people would take that. That literally is a difference of building an entire new PC probably for the price of that single GPU. That would crack the market wide open and that would probably tank the 40 series prices. That would maybe let people stop freaking out about not being able to get 50 series GPUs. It could single-handedly fix the bubble. Guys, the thing about a bubble, right? Whether it's good or bad, the thing about a bubble is it just takes one event to crash it. AMD seems like they're in the best position to crash it because they waited. And I said I thought it was a great thing that AMD waited. And I truly, truly believe that AMD was incredibly smart by waiting to release their RDNA 4 GPUs. So we've got three events that could crash this bubble. I personally think that RDNA 4 is the most likely one to crash it. But who knows? I could totally be wrong on all of this for disclaimer. But if you can wait, guys, I gave you three compelling reasons why you should wait to buy a GPU, especially a used 40 series GPU. Don't buy any used 40 series GPUs right now. They just cost way too much. All right, guys. So listen, I know it's dark right now, but they always say it's darkest before dawn. Hold out for another month or even less. We have the first major event coming potentially in nine days, guys. You could wait a week to game with your old 30 series, 20 series, or even 10 series, guys. You can do it. I know. All right? I believe in you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you think I'm completely off my rocker or if you think I'm on to something, you know, I love having great discussion. A lot of my videos are getting good traction and having great discussion. And please like and subscribe. We have PC builds on this channel. We do a lot of guides to help people buy GPUs. You know, we're going to do a lot of market analysis because I think it's important. Probably going to do one of those every week or every two weeks. So make sure you like and, sub and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.